Hey everybody, this is Tammy with the Robin's Nest. Welcome back. Um, this is really bright and early. This is October 3rd. Um, the first day from a four-day weekend because they have teacher conferences. So, I was planning on trying not to get up at my normal four in the morning. And... Shakira, my cat, decided to have zoomies at 3 o'clock this morning and run through the house like she was on a racetrack. And, of course, once I am awoke, awoke and I can't go back to sleep. So, I've been drinking my tea and getting woke up. So, I thought I would strain off my rose oil that... Um, you guys seen me put into the jar uh, in June 16th. So I thought I would strain this off and um, put it in my little sprayer bottle that I have while I'm not doing anything this morning because it's dark. As soon as it gets light out, I will... Uh, get outside and get some weed eating done and get a lot done before it gets really really hot out which it's been about 90 we've had a few cooler days but for the most part it's been warm in the afternoon so but I thought I would get this strained off get some breakfast made and get ready for seven o'clock and get out there and get some work done in the yard need to pull weeds and weed eat got to finish that one flower bed um, while we have off and she got a lot to do but I cannot believe that she woke me up at 3 o'clock this morning. And I'm up. So, might as well get stuff done. I'm going to let this strain out for a little bit. Now, it's been done for a while. And I did take a little bit out. Um, because I wanted to test it. And uh, I would put it on my face. Every, every evening. I've got an issue with this side of my face. I don't know if it's a clogged, um, um, you know, the thing. I It's too early to think medical names, but this side of my face is really, really dry, and uh, I don't, my lymphoids. I think my lymphoid over here on this side might be not moving properly because this side of my face is not dry. This side is. So, I mean, I've had lots of peeling and um, just rough skin over here. I have had cancer spots, you know, froze off on my face over the years. And that's from tanning beds. Back in my 30s, I lived in those things, and those things are not good. When you get older, you realize, oh, I shouldn't have done that. But by then, it's too late. So anyway, I was putting this on my face, and I had a little mole right here, one of the black moles. And the first morning after I used it, I was kind of cleaning my face, and I felt, it almost felt like it was a skin tag, you know, like skin hanging, and I kind of scraped it with my fingernail, and it opened up, and a little tiny, 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 almost reminded me of a seed, uh, I mean, like the tip of a rice grain, a piece of rice, I came out, and my mole was gone, I have just a little brown spot now, but the black mole. 
and about six years ago, my eye doctor told me I needed to go get that checked before it would mess with my sight or, you know, get huge. So this actually helped with that. So I was so excited about that. And my face is a lot smoother. I'm not getting so much flakiness. Um, so I think this is going to help my complexion. And that's what I was hoping for. So, but to get going with this, so I'm not just sitting here making up stuff to talk about. I ordered some little bottles, and it came with uh, a marker and some tags. So, I put on here rose oil and avocado, or rose petals and avocado oil. And I let it set for, well, since June. So, but I am going to pour this off into this bottle. And this will be my uh, stash. And I will just put this on my face. Every night, maybe, well, for a while, until I know that it's cleared my complexion up. I need, need to hydrate all of this old body of mine. It really sucks getting old. But anyway, this here comes with a little sprayer. So, I'm going to put this cap on here. I did sterilize it with uh, alcohol rubbing alcohol and it's got a cap and now I've got a little rose infused oil for my skin so with that I am going to let you go I'm going to make me some breakfast and get ready to get out in the yard as soon as daylight hits so that I can get out there while it's nice and cool and uh I hope you guys have a good day. God bless. See you next time. Bye.